<laughs> I can't believe I'm out. I can't believe I'm here, you mean. With you. In Italy, huh? <laughs> yeah, me either. Just wish the circumstances were less tense, you know? Eh, uh, well... <clears throat> no, the sights are a bit more enjoyable that way. Oh! Uh, so this, this isn't your first time here? Oh, it's more like, uh, third? Had a couple of odd jobs. With <clears throat> Sullivan? Well, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Man, there's no way up under that bridge. Well, there's that exposed beam underneath. Oh, you think you can rope it? Do I think I can rope it? <laughs> Watch this. I'm watching. I, uh... I missed. <laughs> nah, see, it's, uh, it's all in the wrist. Here, let me see. Ah, see? Yeah, it's not bad. For a second attempt. Here we go. You see that? Oh, like a pro. It's your turn. Okay, so where to next? Hey, bet we can swing off that beam up there. Uh, definitely. Hey, let's switch places. All right, climb over me. I've, I've got a good grip. Okay. Okay, here we go. <laughs> First try. All right, no one likes a show off. <laughs> okay, come on, Nathan. It looks like you can uh, climb down and make your way over. Right behind you. Okay, we're good. Jesus, did you see him? That Renner thug was packing some serious heat. Shut up our guns. Sam, we're gonna pull this off so smoothly we won't need him. I hope you're right. that you missed the most. Like what? The smell of fresh citrus. <laughs> uh, riding the motorcycle. It's little things, but they add up. That should hold.
right, come on down. Landing's a little more painful than I remember. Yeah, tell me about it. So, uh, your other wonderful finds, uh, the ones I missed, you at least take any pictures? I wish. Elena filmed some of it, but the camera didn't make it. That's too bad. I have some drawings, though. When we get back, I'll show you. You have drawings? What, are they up on the fridge or something? No, I, they're good drawings. Right. Can't wait. Ah, this looks promising. I think you mean precarious. <laughs> Shit! You okay up there? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Suck if you missed right now. I sure would. But I don't miss. Nathan? Nathan? What? Oh, yeah. Okay. You all right? Yeah. How do I look? Like 400 million bucks. Let's go. All right, I'm right behind you. Sully? You know what I love about partying with a bunch of crooks? What's that? Nobody cares if you smoke indoors. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. Too long, boy. Oh. <sighs> you remember my dead brother, right? Victor? I'll be gone, Dan. Fifteen years. Yep. Good to see you alive, Sam. Mm-hmm. Let's, uh, let's try keeping him alive by getting this cross, huh? Yeah, uh, about that. What, what about that? Come on, let me show you something. Take a look. That's Avery's cross. They brought it out of storage just before you guys got here. They changed the lot order. Take a whole pile of cash to make that happen. Well, how long before they start the bidding? 10, 15 minutes tops. Well, it's got to be some way we can grab it. <laughs> there is just a small matter of a few hundred eyewitnesses okay. down there. Okay, but we just need a diversion. Like? Like, um... Like, I don't know. But there's got to be something. Well, if the guards <laughs> see us making for that cross... But they don't see us. Jesus, you guys act like you never spend time in prison. 
If you want something dirty done, then you wait for lights, for lights out. out. Yeah. Where's that electrical panel for this place? There's ventilation. Electrical. That's it up here. So we just have to climb up there and kill the lights. Grab the cross in the dark. There will be an emergency generator. And that'll give us a few seconds of darkness to work with. Meaning we'll have to be right next to the cross when the lights go out. So there's no way we can get that close without being noticed. Who's that, the senor? <clears throat> Antipasti? Mosa. Hi. How are you? Ciao. Would you focus? The waiter wouldn't get noticed. That could work. Huh? That will work. <laughs> All right. All right, I'll, I'll get to the breaker room. Kill the power. You mean I'm the waiter? You're the best pickpocket. What? You head down to the floor, keep your eye on the prize, okay? Let us know if anything, uh, hinky goes down. Roger that. All right. Listen, we still got this. <laughs> Ready? Ready. All right, follow me. We'll cut through the cellar. Gotta say, Victor, the years have been kind to you. Thanks. I chuck it up to the vegan. Really? Ah, are you kidding me? Hell no. You see, I thought I had a reasonable grasp of this, or at least a passable French accent. But then a few months back, I'm with my girlfriend by the Pompidou Fountain. I've just sold them those pieces we, uh, we uh, obtained last year, you know, those hanging... Sell it just through there. Let's go. Well, this place is fancy. Of course they played the douchey European techno. Excuse me. See that? Key card, back left pocket. Yep. I'm on it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You sure you want to do that? There's a lot of eyes out here. I think I can handle a simple lift. All right. Just be an extra careful. Well, don't. <sighs> Shit. You, uh, need some pointers? No, just warming up, that's all. Okay. What do you say we just run it like the old days, okay? I do the interference, you make the grab.
pleasure to watch professionals at work. Okay. All right. We should try this again. We'll still need these. Great. Good luck. We'll be in touch. Hands in the air. Hi, Victor. Hello, Nadine. <laughs> Pleasure to see you again. Only this time, I've got the drop on you. Well, I guess I should be glad that's not a real gun. <laughs> Hardly recognize you out of your fatigues. Yeah. You know how it is. Every once in a while, a job requires us to get all dolled up. Looking sharp, by the way. Not too bad yourself. Feels so out of place here. I can't tell you what a relief it is to run into another English speaker. Even if you are American. They'll have to blame my parents for that one. <laughs> I was on my way to the bar. Can I get you something? Yeah, scotch. On the rocks. Be right back. Nate? You catch all that? Yes, I did. Sounds like a lady's trying to buy you a drink. Yeah, Nadine Ross is buying me a drink. Ross. Wait, doesn't she own that army for hire? Is it called Coastline? Shoreline. Yeah, right. But you had a run in with them. <laughs> it's putting it mildly. Fortunately, she does not seem to be holding a grudge. I'm good to go here. All right. Listen, we're all set, Sully. You uh, stay out of trouble, okay? I'll try. You ready? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. I gotta find where the waiters and caterers are hanging out. Learn one out of the kitchen, probably. And let's go find the kitchen. Man, there's enough food down here to feed a small town. I wonder if they host weddings. Oh, yeah, a full service site. Weddings, bar mitzvahs, black market auctions. This skate wasn't on the blueprint. Locked, of course. Okay, plan B. up there. Nathan, go check this out. Here we go. Let there be light. Got electrical in this joint. Don't suppose you brought a... F yeah, that'll do. I guess it's always a good idea to bring a smoker along. Let's see. Need to run. Man, I'm starting to get a little drunk off the fumes in here. Oh, good thing Sully's driving. Maybe the vent access is behind these casks. That's a lot of really rare vintage. Yeah, maybe Alcazar can just settle for some good wine. <laughs> that's something tells me that's not gonna fly. Hey, uh... You'll be worried that Victor is chatting up Nadine Ross. Heard some pretty scary stories about her crew. Yeah, don't worry about Sully. I can talk his way out of anything. Uh, this way. Hey, look at the vents. That's our way out. Yeah, I got it. No need to give me a hand or anything. I'm holding the lighter. Hold the lighter. Okay, up we 
go. Right there. That's smaller than it looked, huh? <coughs> and a lot more dusty. Shh, shh, shh. Damn it. Cosa portiamo a quello odioso miliardario? Baldy looks like my size, too. There's no shortage of waiters around here. pezzi rubati ai ricettatori Fresh air here we come Hey check this out see that building with the radio tower You mean the cell tower What whatever listen that's the power room yeah, you're right. Let's see how we get past this gate. Sam, up here. I'll boost you up. All right. All right. Good thing you kept in shape. Sully, we just got out of the wine cellar, heading to the power room now. How's it looking? Sully? You there? <sighs> Must be a bad spot for a signal. Hopefully he's doing okay. Bingo. Sam, look. Maybe we can use that to find a window. Drop into the kitchen. That's a good idea. I'll boost you up and you take care of the ladder. Sera. Ma che sta facendo? Easy on the civilians, Sam. What? So he wakes up with a headache in his underwear. We've both been there before, right? <laughs> right. Well, I got mine. You get yours. All right. Okay, let's get to the power room. Sam, you good? Yeah, these pants are just a little bit too tight. Yeah, well, that's the style these days. Really? No, I was in Rome. Nah, because we're in Italy. I get it. All right, I'm going to head back to the ballroom. Uh, <laughs> Sam, you there? Sam? <laughs> Sully? <laughs> Great. Guys, if you can hear me, I'm just about at the power room. Should be there soon. Ish.
shit! <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you got away with that. Oh, <laughs> we did not. No, we had our liberty taken away for a month. And what about the horse? Fortunately, we had a lot of carrots on board. <laughs> recognize someone no I thought I did but no but when am I finally going to meet that partner of yours Drake well that's ex-partner mm. yeah I've been flying solo for a while now Drake's out oh like dead out oh no more like retired mm. last I heard he settled down got married mm. well then he might as well be dead right <laughs> Victor Sullivan where the hell are you? Rafe? How long has it been? Ten years? Twelve? Fifteen. <laughs> it's amazing. All these years gone by, here we are, we're still haggling over dead people's junk. <laughs> really? Aren't you running your parents' business? My business now. But yes, that is my day job. <laughs> oh, that is one hell of a day job. You could probably afford to buy up everything on the block tonight. Well, sure. But what would be the point in that? Now, these days I'm only looking for the good stuff. Big scores. Any advice on what I should pick up tonight? <laughs> yeah, I think I want to bid against him. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> just between you and me, I did notice they changed the order. Hmm. I think somebody might be trying to rig this auction. Hmm. Well, remember where we are. This crowd didn't get rich by playing fair. Which is why you really need someone watching your back in a place like this. Ah. Well, I do hate to break it to you. You are working for an American. With? We've partnered up on this one. I see. <laughs> Talk about a power couple. In a few moments, we'll begin bidding on our next item. An inlaid wooden crucifix from the Trotty State. Well, I know when I'm a third wheel. You two kids have fun tonight. Just hold on, Sully. How'd you find out about it? It? What it is that, Rafe? Nadine, I think your partner here has had too many bloody marriages. Cut the whole shit, old man. Now, I don't know how you scammed your way in here, but if you think about bidding on Avery's Cross, I can tell you exactly how you're going to be leaving it in a goddamn Rafe. fight. Lovely seeing you both. Nate? Nate? God damn it, kid, where the hell are you? Okay. Power room. I can do this. God, why did I pick the power room?
Ecco fatto. Oh, speriamo di non dover cambiare altri fusibili del cazzo stasera. Io direi che per stasera può bastare. Ma che diavolo? Pronto? Here we go. Now, where the hell are the circuit breakers? Ah, oh, crap. Sam, Sully, you there? God damn it, kid. Where the hell have you been? I made it. Had a few close calls, but... Yeah, well, if you're gonna cut the power, now would be a good time. I, well, I'm gonna need a minute before I can reach the panel. We don't have a minute. Rafe's about to walk out of here with your cross. Wait, what? Rafe? Rafe is here? Yes, Rafe is here, and as of right now, he has the highest bid. Well, I'll bid him. What? I don't have that kind of scratch. Sully, we're stealing, remember? What if he calls my bluff? <sighs> he won't. We have 90,000. Do I hear any more beer? Guys, if we do not get this cross, I am as good as dead. Yeah. Well, I end up with the highest bid. We're all dead. Sully, I need you to buy me more time. Since we have no other bid. Trust me. Going once. Going twice. Uh, screw it. Then we have 100,000 euros in the room. Thank you. Do we have any other bids? We now have 110,000 euros in the room. For a penny and for a pound. That bit brings Don't us worry. to 120. We'll be out of there in no time. I better be. Okay. Just gotta smash the lock. Now the bit has reached 130,000. Nope. We are now at 120,000. Damn it. Your bid, Signore, takes us all the way to 150,000. Gotta be something. Hey man, uh, starting to sweat bullets here. Yeah, give me a sec. The bidding stands at 160,000 euros in the room. Yes! Signore's bid makes 170,000. <laughs> we are now at 180,000 euros. Gotcha. All right, boys, I'm at the switch. You ready? As I'll ever be, Victor. Just a sec. The gentleman's bid, 190,000 euros. 500,000. Let's get the show on the road here. Uh, thank you. We have 500,000 euros in the room. Does the gentleman wish to begin? <laughs> Had me worried there for a minute, Victor. Thought I might have to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's ruin this asshole's evening. Anyone else? We are going once. Going twice. Then I shall sell it for 500,000. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please remain calm. The backup power will come on shortly. It's gone. Move it. Get out of the way. Stop him. Hey, stop that guy. Fermo. What are you doing? You're letting him get away. You speak Spanish. What? Sam, tell me you got the cross. I got St. Dismas right here. You want to say hi? Yeah, we've 